Today I'm going to show you a brand new Pokemon TCG product that was released with the latest set Lost Origins. And here to show you that size doesn't always matter, the Booster Bundle. What's up everybody, I'm ASX and welcome to TCG Funhouse where every Tuesday we open up a brand new product from the latest Pokemon TCG set and today you guys, I'm going to be opening up two of these booster bundles. These booster bundles are brand new uh, to the Pokemon TCG, at least in the Sword and Shield era here uh, and I'm pretty sure for English, correct me if I'm wrong, I know they have some products like this in Japan. Uh, but for the English sets, I'm not sure we've seen anything quite like this before. They are similar to the build and battle kits. The build and battle kits only had four packs of uh, booster packs in them. And then kind of like a pre-made, um, kind of like a half deck uh, in there. So uh, these do not have that deck. There's no promo cards in these or anything like that at all. These just include six booster packs. But before we get into the opening here today, guys, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. The month of September, we are giving away a Lost Origins booster box, so you're gonna wanna be entered for that. All the details on entry are gonna be right at the end of the video, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I am super pumped up to go ahead and get into these Lost Origin booster bundles. Let's go ahead and start with this one on the right here first, and uh, I really, really am happy that the Pokemon company decided to do something like this where uh, there's just no extra frills, right? There's nothing extra. Um, I guess you kind of get like a deck box here. Um, it's not the most sturdy deck box, but it is a deck box. It would be able to hold 60 cards in sleeves with how thick that is, which is really cool. But uh, what's super awesome is you just get six packs. Nothing else crazy in there. Nothing else to worry about. No coins jumbling around in there. No promos to have to worry about if they're damaged or not. You got six booster packs here. So guys, let us go ahead and get into it and uh, start it off here with an enamorous pack. First of 12 packs here today because both of these got six booster packs in them. We'll see. We'll go head to head here. Let's see the right versus the left. Drop down in the comments below. What do you think? Is it going to be the right box which we're opening right now? Or is it going to be this left box over here hanging out with Light Arcanine? Let me know. Let's go ahead and get you that code on the first one. Let's see if this right side box can bring us something awesome. Let me know how are your polls going for Lost Origin. It is first wave release and I am always a believer that the first wave always has the better polls. I don't know about you out there if you feel that, but uh, at least that's typically the case for me. But let me know what kind of polls are you guys getting out there. We got an Arc phone that actually looks pretty cool. And a Porygon Z non hollow to start things off. Starting things off a little bit cold here, but we got a Radiant Gardevoir pack to get into. And uh, I think the Radiant Gardevoir packs have been the packs that have been the luckiest here for me so far. Let's see if that is the case here today with these booster bundles. Let me know, have you guys been able to get some of these booster bundles as well? I think it's super cool. You can actually find these out in Walmart and Target as well. I feel like before. Uh, at least in the Walmarts and Targets around where I am from, um, they never had any of the um, the uh, pre-release kits. Uh, the those pre-release kits I was talking about earlier with the four packs, you couldn't really find those at my wall. You know the Walmarts and Targets and you know Best Buys and stuff like that around me. Um, but these booster bundles, you are. I found a whole bunch of them stocked on the shelf at Target the other day. Uh, so I thought that was super cool. We got an Ariados reverse and. A Sableye Hollow with that Lost Zone Fog coming out. Really awesome. If you guys haven't seen, which you probably have seen and heard a million times already, but uh, when you see this extra Hollow coming out there, it's not an amazing rare, which you might think. It does kind of look like that, but uh, it does have, this card has something to do with the Lost Zone. Typically, it's an ability or it's an attack in this, in this sense with Sableye. It is its Lost Mine attack. Uh, basically, you use this attack only if you have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone. Put 12 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So, um, the Lost Zone is a brand, not a brand new mechanic. I keep saying that. It's not a brand new mechanic to Pokemon. It has been a mechanic that we've had in the past, at least going back to the Sun and Moon era for sure. Uh, but they're bringing it back here in Lost Origins, and I think that's super cool. It's going to switch some things up in the Pokemon TCG. 
and uh, basically allows you to take cards completely out of play. So, uh, you know, your opponent can't put them in their discard, grab them back out later, things like that. So could be super useful. There's another code going out to you. Let's see if we get something awesome. In this one, we got a V-Star Marker, Gastrodon, Lampant. Have you guys been getting a lot of uh, trainer gallery pulls? Or do you feel like the trainer gallery pull rates uh, got taken down on this set? We got a glass year. Um, really cool. Typically, you see Ice Rider. Uh, Calyrex on the Glass Deer here, but now we get a Pokemon card solely with Glass Deer, no Calyrex in sight. I think that's really cool. It's kind of like two Pokemon in one there when you got Calyrex on them. Let's see what we end it with. A Banette, non hollow again with the Lost Zone there. Probably something to do, it looks like, with its ability there, being able to move cards to the Lost Zone, out of the Lost Zone, something like that. Uh, but I'm really excited to get into some of the. Uh, get into some of the gameplay here with some of these lost origin cards lost uh, lost zone cards it's going to be really really cool uh, i definitely suggest if you if you don't play the pokemon tcg or you haven't played i guess i should say and uh you know you have any interest download the uh, ptcgo it's a free app you can get it on the you know apple app store google play store all that um and it's super fun to play you can learn how to play there and uh, it's, uh, you know, no pressure. It's really cool. That's where I learned how to play the Pokemon TCG. Um, so I definitely recommend it. That's where you get to use all these codes that I'm showing you at the beginning too. We got a Metal Energy, Machoke with a super, super cool artwork there. Mirage Gate, Cascoon, Finian, Hisuian Zora, Paris, Inkay, Hisuian Basculin, Machop Reverse, and... And Electros non hollow. Wow, this right side box is uh, is a little bit rough here. But let's go ahead and get into our next one here and see uh, what we can do. We got second to last pack here on this right side. And uh, hopefully it's going to bring us something. I mean, I always say it only takes one card, one pack to turn things completely around. Let's see what we got in this one. I also forgot. There's the uh, gold and black Pikachu and Mew in this set as well. That would be a bomb card. Both of them would be absolutely awesome to pull. Relicanth, Lost Vacuum. Such an interesting one. Little hand vacuum there. Porygon, Inkay, Blipbug, Finian, Spinarak, a Roserade Reverse, and a Comfy non hollow going to the Lost Zone there. Comfy, such a s interesting Pokemon. It's essentially like a lay right that you'd get in hawaii all right let's go ahead and get into our last pack here hasui and zorark you gotta bring us the luck you gotta bring the cards out of the lost zone because all the all the pulls here today clearly are getting lost in the lost zone because they are not in these packs in this right side bo uh, booster bundle let's go ahead see if this last pack can do it like i've said it only takes one pack to turn everything around in an opening let's see what we can do we got a grass energy Electric, Riley, uh, Gloom, Inke, Squovet, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish, a Blipbug Reverse, and a Beautifly Hollow. So, man, just a couple of hollows. I think I even put the Sableye uh, over off to the side here, but just a couple of hollows for our right side box. So, that was a bit of a bummer. Uh, I hope if you guys are buying these and opening these booster bundles, your pulls are much better. Than that was because uh, these go for about a $25 price point and six packs. I mean, shoot, you feel like uh, at least I did, you know, feel like you'd get at least something, you know, out of six packs. I mean, you know, typically you get two, three packs. You're at least walking away with like one or two V cards, usually something a little bit better out of like a three pack. So I kind of expected, you know, pull rates in these to be kind of similar. But let's go ahead and get into our left box here. And uh, see what we can do in this one. Let's see what our pack selection looks like again. All right, looks like it is uh, pretty standard. We got two of each. We're actually missing one of them. That's interesting. I can't remember which one it is that we're missing, but we're missing one of the artworks. Uh, and I think we had it in the last one. So, oh, what is it? Oh, we're missing the Enamorous. Maybe that means something different. I don't know. Maybe we'll have better luck in this one. I, I have heard that. Um, I can't remember which uh, which Poketuber it was, but I did hear them say um, they did have a lot better luck in the booster bundles that didn't have a full art set. Sorry about that, you guys. I got a call right in the middle of me uh, filming there, but no worries. We got to the second box here. I have not opened anything at all yet. 
was just about to get into our very first pack of the second box here with this uh, Radiant Gardevoir. So let's go ahead and see. This one's weird. It's like extra long at the bottom. It's like a the long stem almost. But let's go ahead and get into this first pack and see what we got out of our second box here. Our second booster bundle. There's code for you. Hopefully this one's going to treat us a little bit better than the first one did. That first box was rough. All right, we got a Lightning Energy Bronzong, Colress's Experiment, Lost City, uh, Hisuian Growlithe, Lickitung, Slugma, Clefairy, Apom, Hisuian Arcanine, let's go! Favorite pull of the day today, especially if we don't get anything else. Awesome pull though, let's see if we got anything else here. Nothing else, just a comfy non hollow. But hey, that's a win for me. Reverse is suing Arcanine. Arcanine is my favorite Pokemon. If you've not listened to the Gym Leaders podcast, I pretty much can't stop talking about Arcanine and uh, how much love he doesn't get. So I am happy to see he's finally getting some love here, at least a little bit, in the Sword and Shield era uh, here in Lost Origins with the Trainer Gallery card and, uh, you know, the reverse rare. And uh, I think it's a hollow. I hope it is. Because uh, he has not been getting very many hollows this uh, this whole era. There's your code for you. Going out gets you a pack in the Pokemon PTCGO online. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. What are, this is our second pack in, third pack in, second pack in. We got a Fighting Energy. I can count. Lady Lampet. Uh, Isakin. Isakin. Iskin. I don't know. Not sure how to say that one yet. He must be from uh, Arceus or something like that. Uh, Litwick, not heard of him before. Snover, Rhyhorn, Apom, Hisuian Growlithe Reverse to go with my Reverse Hisuian Arcanine. Absolutely love it. Let's see what we got on the end here. Awesome, we got the Enamorous V. Very, very cool. I do not have this one yet. Let's go ahead and get this one sleeved up and put in the background and i know you're asking me how the heck did i not sleeve up that hisuian arcanine reverse i know you're asking me right now let me go ahead and get him sleeved up he deserves it go ahead and put his little buddy there in the background as well you could probably barely see that let's go ahead and get into our next pack here got a giratina pack would love that giratina alternate art would absolutely love that one Hopefully we can have a shot at that here today. There's your code going out. Hopefully you guys are getting those codes for the PTCGO. All right, we got a fire energy. Hopefully that turns into a fire pole. Thornton, Squovet, Inke, Phalanx, Poliwag, Oddish. Awesome, we got the Bennett Trainer Gallery. Very cool. I think I actually do have this one, unfortunately, already. Uh, but a really really cool uh trainer gallery card let's see if it's a double banger oh it's very small double banger we got two beautifies out of our boxes here today but we got that bonnet trainer gallery super awesome gonna add that here in the back and i cannot for the life of me, for the life of me remember the uh name of the trainer there but i know she is one of the more popular ones gosh i cannot remember her name Drop down in the comments below. Let me know what that trainer's name is. If you could, I'd very much appreciate you. If you could, I think she's more from like the sun and moon era. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into our Radiant Gardevoir pack here. Hopefully get something else. We definitely, this box uh, is doing a lot better than the first one. Maybe that is correct. What I said earlier about, you know, if you don't get a full art set, you might come out of that box a little bit better than if you did have a full art set in the box. But let's go ahead and see here. What we get in this one, got a Metal Energy, uh, Fantina, Obama Snow, Lost City, uh, Binnacle, Gumi, Bronzor, Snover, Jinx, Horsey Reverse, and awesome, we got the Drapion V-Star. Very cool, I do not have this one either. And I am just ticking off the V-Stars here. I think I've pulled maybe almost all of them. I've pulled um, off camera. The Giratina V-Star and the Hisuian Zoroark V-Star. Last video, I think I pulled one of the other V-Stars. Now I can't remember the Magnezone. And now we got the Drapion V-Star here as well. Surprising that uh, Drapion here, my boy, you get in love uh, with a V-Star over my boy Arcanine. I don't know about that. I'm just going to have to set you off here to the side because uh, my boy Arcanine needs some more love. I'm just going to say that. 
Let's go ahead and get into our second to last pack here, you guys. Make sure, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video here today to get all of your September detail or entry, giveaway entry, if I can say that, details, all the way at the end of the video. Uh, stay tuned for more information on that so you can be entered for our giveaway. We're giving away a Lost Origin um, Elite Trainer Box at the end of the month during a live stream. So definitely make sure you're entered for that. Got a Torkoal, uh, a Rizu, a Rizu, a Rizu, C dot. Got a lot of trainers in this set that I cannot pronounce. Got to get back on the game. Mianfu, Snorlax Reverse, and a Magirna non hollow Interesting looking artwork. Magirna standing in the library, just staring pondering out the window but you guys we are down to our very last pack here today got a giratina pack art rub the giratina belly hopefully we can get the giratina v um alternate art just an absolutely beautiful card but i'd also be chasing that aerodactyl uh alternate art as well my top two cards of this set uh, actually closely followed by the gold Giratina as well. I think that card is just absolutely awesome. And then not to forget the two Pikachu cards in the trainer gallery. Um, awesome, awesome cards with red in the background. Got a V-Star, Nuzleaf, Gift Energy. Please gift me an awesome pull in this pack to Gift Energy. Ghastly, Ducklet, Hisuian Zora, Porygon Z-Reverse, and a Dugong, of course. It had to give me the dugong to end it off. That is just not what you want. That just gives me like evolutions vibes with dugong in the rare spot there, but definitely a much better box. I mean, it had the Hisui and Arcanine reverse. I mean, that's really the only pull that I needed, but we got some other awesome ones here as well. Got the Bennett Trainer Gallery, the Drapion V-Star and the Enamorous V, one of the newest Pokemons here on the scene. So guys, drop down below. As always, let me know. What was your favorite poll of the day today? Thank you guys so much for coming and checking out my video here today. I had an absolute amazing time opening up these booster bundles. Even though the first one was a bit rough, it definitely came back with the second one there. It had an Arcanine as well. So who can complain with that opening? If you guys have not already, definitely make sure to leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and tap that notification bell on your way out. But don't leave just yet, you guys, because I think it's time for a special message about our September giveaway. That's right, we are bringing the giveaways back to TCG Funhouse here in the month of September, and we are giving away the brand new set, Lost Origins. That's right, for the entire month of September, we have an Elite Trainer Box giveaway going on, and all you have to do to earn your entries for this particular video is make sure you're a subscriber, hit the like button on this video, and leave a comment down below and you can do that on every single video in the month of September for more entries one entry per video and then we will give it away during a live stream at the end of the month guys it's gonna be so much fun I'll see you there